All right, so I've uh, loosened these two bolts here, holding the distributor cap on. I just took the rotor off. I'm going to replace that as well. Now, the signal generator is underneath this dust cap. I believe that's what it's called. Let's see how am I going to get that? Okay. All right. So to remove signal generator, there's two screws right there. Need to uh, loosen those up. All right, I need to uh, make sure that I don't lose those. I think the new one will provide screws. Just in case. All right, now let's go ahead and take this wire off here. And this wraps around it. See it at the top up here, maybe. Okay. disconnect it from its connector up here on the top all right so here's the connector pull this up and there's the signal generator Now let's put the new one back in place. So here we have the new signal generator pickup coil. And the old. Uh, let's try to do a little comparison here. Now the main difference is going to be this little contact right here. That is that is the old contact point there, and you can see how it's been worn. I have uh, I've used sandpaper on that a few times, and uh, you know it would need it again right now if I were going to use this. There's the new one. So uh, let's go ahead and put the new one back in place. Everything else looks like it's matched up really well. good thing that I didn't lose those screws because uh, they did not provide screws so I'll be using the old screws for this all right so just uh, put the wire in just kind of laid it in place there let's line up these screw holes here put our screws back in
All right, so I'm going to have to adjust the air gap, so there's no need to get these really tight right now. In the bottom one down here, gotta match it up with the hole. Be able to get the other screw in. It's not tight. Neither one of them is really tight, and they're just kind of snugged up. For now, because I'm going to need to be moving. Moving this for uh, getting the proper air gap here. See that contact there? Um, I'm going to have to get this signal rotor, I believe it's what it's called, on the end of the distributor here. I'm going to have to get that lined up right across from that and then we will be able to uh, set our fuel gauge in there and then I'll tighten these uh, firmly uh, for now I'll go ahead and put this in is that right? All right, so I already put the connector, so I already connected it here, and I'm going to start bumping the ignition and try to get it lined up here. All right, finally got it dialed in here. It took a while. Uh, I've disconnected the negative here for setting the gap here. Um, this is about as close as I'm going to be able to get it. And I can make contact here. Let's see if you can see the... Just the, about the bottom of it is touching, but... You know, I think we're going to be able to manage with that. So I'm going to get my feeler gauge out. Your air gap, all models, eight thousandths to sixteen thousandths of an inch. It's starting to get dark out here, so I think I'm going to go ahead and pick this up tomorrow when we have a little more light here. So I have my feeler gauge out here, and here's the range that I can use uh, for that gap. Eight thousandths to sixteen thousandths of an inch. That's what the book says. Um, if you're going to be using a millimeter or micrometer, whatever that stands for, that would be 0 0.203 all the way to uh, 0 0.406. So I think I'm going to go with this ten thousandths of an inch right here, or or point. 254 micrometer we're going to try to use this one, this one right here okay so I'm just going to slip the uh, gauge in between the two nodes here once I've got it in there I'm just tightening the two screws Okay, so that's the gap there. That's ten thousandths of an inch. And now you can see they're not exactly right across from each other, so 
it may even close more than that so there may need to be some adjustments made yet uh, but I'm going to try to go with that and see how how well it starts and runs So, uh, let's try to set that air gap. Okay, so we've been trying to uh, turn the distributor and get the uh, two lobes to line up uh, by turning the ignition. And we just keep, uh, you know, going past or not, not getting it where it's where they're you know matching up so I can put my fuel gauge in there and it's been a I've probably tried a hundred times so I'm gonna go after crankshaft here and I've got a wrench on it and uh, I'm gonna go clockwise I'm afraid if I go counterclockwise I may loosen the bolt down there so I'm uh, getting some pretty good movement it's just gonna be slow here but it can't be any slower than what we've been doing so you know we're just trying to do it this way and hopefully we can get it to line up okay, stop stop yeah. so that was much in easier with the uh, turning the crankshaft now I uh, took the battery cable off to do that and uh, this is what we've got here just a matter of a uh, couple minutes here where we at right there so I'm going to go for I'm not sure to open it up or close it so I think I'm going to start it out with 8 uh, last adjustment was 14 so maybe 16 all right let's try that 16,007 inch put the uh, rotor cap back on and let's try to give it a start again here Before we start it again, we'll make sure that the wrench is out. We we'll put the battery, the negative cable back on the battery, and we're going to hook our coil up here. Put the lobes pretty close together here, and that is uh, that gap is right at uh, uh, nine thousandths of an inch. Okay, so uh, we've got 12, 12 thousandths of an inch here. So I've got a uh, update now. I've tried everything I could to get the new signal generator to work. 
adjusted it all the way up from uh, eight thousandths of an inch to sixteen thousandths of an inch and could never get it to run uh, properly at all um, you heard how it ran and uh, so decided to go ahead and uh, put the old one back on so it's if your old one is working at all don't throw them away um, I've learned totally learned that um, so I put the old one back on started it up it's running so I'm gonna put the dust cover back on um, and uh, I'm gonna start it up here again I set it at uh, now I didn't remember what it was set at when I took it off so uh, just cleaned the contact and they're not lined up anymore but I uh, just cleaned the contact on the signal generator here I think I can see it because it was it was kind of worn so just cleaned it cleaned it up there it is right there just cleaned it up a little bit and uh, uh, set it at 16 thousandths of an inch so let's put this on put the cover back on and let's try to start it again All right, let's see if it's gonna start. It did start when I put it back on. So after, uh, you know, putting the cover, cuddle dust cover back on, that's all I've, all I've done since then, so we'll see. I'm expecting it to start. There we go, beautiful. Now I did not run it at all when I started, so it's still cold. Alternator belt needs to be adjusted, it's really loose. Okay, just putting the air cleaner cover back on. Runs nice. So, we ended up with uh, new plugs, distributor cap, rotor. Uh, button was not able to use the new signal generator that I bought I'm going to try to take that back clean it up a little bit don't know why it didn't work but it does not work so uh, it's been a it's been about three or four hours trying to figure that out so uh you know, that costs a lot of money, uh, um, and I've wasted a lot of time here with that, so I uh, hope I can get some money out of that. Yeah, clean the contact point of that um, signal generator pickup coil, you know, and uh, maybe it'll last a while. Still cold. Get the RPMs down a little bit there. So it needs to be blown out. I need to make sure that I have some uh, some um, antifreeze in here, which I don't. a little bit I know this has a leak up here but I did add it 
last time I ran it over a month ago, so it looks like it still has some in it. I guess that'll be it. I'm gonna let this run until it gets to a normal driving temperature here. And uh, tighten that belt next time and maybe I can get it out on the road again. So uh, thanks for watching the video. Until uh, next time, have a great day. Take care.